a, it's a kind of like mixed feelings uh, because I feel that uh, we need that uh, as a business that people come here and, and, and support us. On the other hand, I feel that there is a need of stopping the, the COVID numbers going up. Seeing the numbers, how they are increasing, especially in Merced, a couple of days ago, 80 something people got infected just in, just in one day or two days. And um, we want to avoid that. Since the very beginning, when we switched to order on, orders online, takeouts, I mean, customers that have been here for like, since we opened or, or uh, a lot of UC Merced, uh, a lot of customers from everywhere, they, they have been constantly ordering food like every week, you know, sometimes twice a week. Uh, I know it's hard on everybody to start like uh, ordering food, especially in these times, but uh, we have seen that, you know, and uh, uh, promoting us on, on, on social media. They purchase our food, they, they, they post it online, you know, like try to keep promoting us, like giving those, you know, feedback, good feedback, stuff like that, that is really appreciated. It's not fun, uh, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to keep our community safe. Um, it's, it's, none of this is any fun. Uh, it doesn't affect our business too much because we were already operating at reduced capacity and mostly doing to-go to orders and mostly outdoor stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not exciting. We've seen a lot of support. We've definitely, our community has really given us a lot of support. Uh, they've been totally wonderful. Um, nobody's, really, nobody's really complained about anything. Uh, mostly they're just happy to have us open again uh, and happy to come back and you know come and get their coffee say hi um, yeah we've we've but we've always had wonderful regulars and wonderful community here so well after being shut down for three months uh, our customers reacted really good when we had to open up and they respected all the compliances that we put out for them and stuff everything seemed to be working really really good and we had a good good um following everybody started coming back and respecting everything and, and we thought we were going to get back on track again you know start can't make up for the time closed but we we're doing really good 10 minutes ago i find out what the governor is doing again uh, people aren't respecting i guess the social distancing and with these numbers coming back i guess they're asking us to shut down again for three more weeks it's going to put it's going to be tight you know, we're going to go all with, back again to figuring out. We got all new inventory again. We had gotten rid of all our old inventory, brought new inventory in. You know, as you know, beer gets old, so we have to replace it. We have to do a lot of different things. Personally, I think if they're shutting us down again for three weeks, they're just guessing. We're probably going to be shut down for a lot longer than that. So it's, it's a really, really, really hard thing to, to go through again. So we're, we'll just keep our, our hopes up. I know there's several businesses in town here that didn't reopen after that last hit. Now, is this going to do something to the rest of the businesses? Just like the governor stands, out, stands up and shuts us down, I hope he comes up and does something for the small business owners to help us um, get back on our feet again. That's all, we're, that's all I'm hoping for.